Right, hey guys, what's up? DJ's Aviation here, welcome to episode 3 of Question Time with DJ. Today we'll be covering how to make the perfect thumbnail for your aviation videos. Essentially a thumbnail is a sneak peek and or preview of a video that you or someone else has uploaded. This thumbnail appears in the subscription box, search engine on YouTube and websites your video may have been featured on. For example, your video could have been featured on Twitter, Google Plus and or Facebook. When picking a thumbnail, I do happen to see a lot of people using the standard one that YouTube picks out for them. However, I'd highly recommend you choose your own thumbnail. You can choose your own by selecting a frame from the video and taking a screenshot, then further editing it and uploading it to the custom thumbnail section on your video manager. There are four main things you should be looking either to do or find in a thumbnail. That's the lighting, colour, cropping and of course angle of the aircraft. When picking a thumbnail, you should be looking for a frame where the whole aircraft or a particular aircraft is displayed. For instance, a close-up of the nose is ideally better than one of the fuselage. Remember that this has to be appealing to attract new people to your channel and also bring back old viewers to view, if that makes sense. A thumbnail should be 1280 pixels by 720 pixels. That is the ideal dimensions YouTube asks for. On MacBooks, you can adjust the size through the application called Preview. When it comes to editing a particular image, there are a number of editing suites free and costing money out there. Most people use Adobe Photoshop or Lightroom. Both of these do cost money, but are available for a Macintosh or Windows running computer for a small fee of 11 Australian dollars a month. You can go to like a currency converter and put the $11 into your currency so you can work it out. In the background, you would have been able to see I'm currently editing a picture of mine. This kind of gives you an idea of how I make my thumbnails and also the type of pictures I upload to Instagram. You can also see if you were to scroll through uh, the list of my videos, I do spend a lot of time trying to make my thumbnails visually appealing because um, I like to attract new people to my channel. Sometimes though, I spend probably too long on them, but I guess that's okay. I just want to thank you very much for watching episode 3 of Question Time with DJ. A bit of a shorter episode today, I didn't really have anything to cover. This was requested by Heathrow Flyer. Um, he wanted to know how to do a thumbnail, so I really hope this helped you. Um, again, if you have any suggestions for episode 4, please leave them in the comment section below, and I will get to them as soon as possible. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.